This tutorial is about how we can make the traffic light signal by using the node MCU. So let's begin. So this is the equipment we would we would require. This is the node MCU ESP8266 and this is the traffic light signal. Here you can see it has four pins, three for colors and one for ground. And we would require four male to male wires and a breadboard. All right. So let's connect the circuit. So this is the node MCU. You can see uh, we would use only this side D0, D1, D2, D3 and we will connect it here on the breadboard and we will connect our traffic light signal here just like I'm connecting it here. So uh, I have connected it here and let me just insert this node MCU into the breadboard so here it is inserted and here you can see we do not require this side to be inserted in the breadboard because we do not have uh, much more space on the breadboard so I, I, I have only connected D0 D1 side here and now it's time to connect the wires so first let's connect the ground wire here you can see G and D uh, pin will be connected on the ground of the node MCU so here you can see G is the ground pin of the node MCU and now let's just connect D1, D2, D3 pins of the node MCU with the sensor. So I have connected these pins on uh, the breadboard and now uh, we would require this cable. Uh, one side of the cable will be connected with the node MCU and second with the laptop. So this is the code. Uh, that we would use and uh, here are the global variables uh, here we uh, i have just declared the pins d1 d2 and d3 and their purpose let me just write here on the comment global variables so uh, these lines actually represent uh, which pins of the node mcu will be controlling the three different colored leds all right so d1 uh, will be controlling red D2 will be controlling yellow and D3 will be controlling green pin. So this is void setup and uh, in this setup we require we just declare these all of these pins as output pins. And in the void loop uh, we first uh, just need to turn on the red LED and this block of code is used for the red LED. Then next section is used to turn on red and yellow LED both together for only one second as you can see the delay time is 1000 so uh, let me just insert the spaces here and then uh, this block of code will definitely will be turning on the uh, green LED and the delay time is only three seconds finally uh, we have this uh, block of code which will definitely turn on the yellow LED and now let's just set up uh, the code how we can upload the code uh, so uh, just click on this uh, option first we would require to install uh, the node MCU library and I have already installed it I will uh, give, give a link in the description where you can follow to set up the node MCU if you don't know it um, and then you need to go to the preferences and this link is actually very necessary in order to um, make an node MCU work I will provide the link in in the description it's a short video uh, you can set up the set up it from there and then we need to go uh, to this section and select a board we need to type node MCU and in my case it's 1.0 I have selected this and this is the port uh, that is connected so I will click OK here and then uh, you can verify it from here and upload it from here so I have clicked here and uh, it in node MCU actually requires few time uh, few seconds to upload the code and here you can see it's compiling sketch if you never have used node MCU uh, before then please uh, check the link in the description in order to set up the node MCU so I have already made a video on how to set up the node MCU uh, you only need to follow that video and install few libraries and it will be uh, properly working so this is uploading here you can see these this is uploading in percentages and now it's almost done and it's done compiling here you can see it's done compiling and now it should work so now let's move on to the circuit and here is the circuit here you can see 
uh, these LEDs are working properly according to our delays so you can adjust the delays from the code as well so thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel